we want to show you the connection of the deflection tube. First, you connect the, on the power supply the plus pole of the acceleration voltage to earth. Then you connect on the tube the anode and put it on the plus pole. Now we want to connect the filament, the heating of the tube. You take two cords and put it both on the output for 6.3 volt. The connectors are on the back of the tube and you just connect them. Now you make the cutwood connection. You put it on the minus pole of the power supply and you can see on the tube there is a minus sign here. You connect the minus. And that's already the connection for the tube. Now we want to show you the connection for the magnetic deflection. So you want to make the circuit for the coils. On the coils it's uh, designated A and C, the end and the beginning of the coil windings. So you go from Z to the plus pole of a 20 volt power supply. And you go from A to the minus. On the other side of the coils you go from A to the plus and from Z to the minus. Now the circuit is ready for magnetic deflection. Now we switched on the 5 kV power supply. Wait a little until the filament is hot and then we turn up the acceleration voltage from about 2000 volts it should start to appear, the beam should start to be appear and as you can see we have a nice straight beam coming out now we want to deflect it we turn on the power supply for the coils and you can see we turn up the voltage and the beam will be deflected. Okay. Now we want to show you how to connect uh, the tube if you want to do uh, deflection by an electric field. First you need a second high power high voltage power supply you put the anode on earth again and then you see the connectors for the con condenser plates up and down here and you connect it to the plus and the lower one to minus which you can switch around if you want to deflection up or down it depends how the polarity is and we can show you please switch
switch off the light. I turn on the power supplies again. Now you can see the beam is coming at around 2000 volts. And now on the second power supply I'll go up and the beam is deflected now by the electric field of the condenser, of the capacitor. And if you want both now you could also show um, if we put on the, the current in the coils again we can bring it down to zero with zero deflection okay.